Hey, this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum versus Hell in a Cell 2021, a show of absolutely no fucking consequence. I cannot think of any pay-per-view, and this is including Backlash and uh, fucking, uh, all the rest of them named after traffic conditions and just the B and C list uh, pay-per-views over the year that have been of less consequence, not a title change, um, 50-50 booking, uh, foregone conclusions all night long, really fucking terrible pay-per-view. Uh, the pre-show match is with Mandy Rose against Natalia, who gives a fuck. Natalia wins with a sharpshooter. Um, we go into some half-ass packages. Um, man, they do this little tribute to the great movie, The Warriors, and then never go back to it. It never factors in. It is strictly to do something to seem cool. There's no consequence to any of it. Stylistically, Hell in a Cell, there's no blood. There's no excessive violence. It's not Hell in a Cell. When they announce the matches, you're not even sure which are going to be Hell in the Cell matches during the regular shows. And nobody reacts in a way that goes, I'm afraid. Why the fuck would you be? Um, Bailey takes on Bianca Belair. You know, Bailey's not winning this damn thing. She shows up in Cactus Jack tribute gear and nobody mentions it or cares. Nothing matters in this shit, folks. Bianca, after saying, I'm going to drag you around this cage and rub your face in the cage, does uh, tries to win with a bunch of roll-ups early on in the match. The fuck? Um, we get a, a promo thing with... Well, we get a promo with MVP Lashley and a bunch of women, and Lashley looks serious at the end. Then we get Alexa talking. Then Rollins and Cesaro... A video package about them. Seth Rollins now gets his win. They make a big deal about, oh, Cesaro got two wins. And so, you know, Seth Rollins is going to get the win. And he does so with a small package on the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Um, we get a package with Bliss and Baszler and Lily, the doll. Baszler's there with Nia and Reginald talking. And then we get a match. And is Alexa Bliss the toughest woman in the history of wrestling? Because now she knows sells her arm being twisted out of place. She's in no danger of getting submitted. Uh, when she gets a choke put on her, she just slips out of it. And she wins. Get a commercial for DraftKings, of course. Um, match number four, Sami Zayn against Kevin Owens. Weren't they supposed to never wrestle each other again? Wasn't that established years ago? Sami Zayn wins clean with a halluva kick. Great. We get a commercial for credit cards for the WWE and and a couple things about dads and how nice they are. Then we get a match with Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley. Charlotte Flair wins by DQ. Ripley holds on to her title. Who's the fucking face? Who's the fucking heel? No idea. They're just never going to let Rhea Ripley beat Charlotte, I guess. And uh, Drew McIntyre against Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley wins with a schoolboy. This fucking thing sucked. Uh, and I know people are going to try to argue otherwise. It is fucking toothless and fangless and frankly joyless.